Hello everyone. Welcome to the video series on pharmacological classification of drugs. In this video, I will explain the mechanism and classification of antifungal agents. Now, before getting into the classification, we need to understand about fungal cell. A fungal cell has got a cell wall which is made up of chitin. Underneath it has got a cell membrane which is made up of ergosterol. Ergosterol is synthesized in two steps. Squalene is converted to lanosterol. Lanosterol is converted to ergosterol. Inside the cell you have microtubules, DNA and other cellular components are there. Now the classification of antifungal drugs will, will be concentrated on these cell components. We will see one by one. The first class is known as echinocandins. In this class, the drugs are capsofungin, micafungin, anidula fungin. Now, these drugs target cell wall. In the cell wall, there is a component called as beta glycon. This is inhibited by all these drugs and this results in cell wall rupture and cell death. Now, after that, you have a class known as polyene antibiotics. Amphodercin B, nistatin comes under this category. Now, these polyenes has got amphiphilic nature and because of its nature, cell membrane is disrupted. This is what is the mechanism of action of polyene antibiotics. Now, underneath you have another class is there. The class is known as allyl amines. Terpenophyne, naphtifine comes under this class. Now, these drugs attack the conversion step of squalene to lanosterol. The enzyme required for this conversion is squalene epoxide. This enzyme is inhibited by allyl amines. By inhibiting this enzyme, squalene levels increased in the fungal cell and increased squalene is toxic to fungal cell. Now, after that, the lanosterol is converted to ergosterol with the help of an enzyme 14 alpha demethylase. This enzyme is inhibited by azole antifungal agents. In azoles, you have two classes are there triazoles, imidazoles. In triazoles, we have voriconazole, iconazole, postconazole. Whereas in, in the class of imidazoles, we have ketoconazole, fluconazole, cotrimazole, miconazole. All these drugs come in this class. Now all these drugs, the mechanism of action is they inhibit 14 alpha demethylase and inhibit the formation of ergosterol results in cell membrane disruption. Now after this you have a drug called as chrysiofulvin which targets microtubule of the fungal cell. Now when microtubule is disrupted, cell multiplication is not possible and fungal growth is inhibited. Now next you have a drug called as 5-flucytosine. Now this is an anti-metabolite. This 5-flucytosine is converted to 5-fluorouracil with the help of a fungal enzyme called as D-aminase. Now this 5-fluorouracil inhibits thymidylate synthase and this results in inhibition of the formation of DNA. So this is about fungal antifungal agents. I hope this is useful.